Hi again, uh, thanks for your company today. I wonder if you've ever been in a position where you've been so uh, riled or upset by the comment of another person that you've quickly fired off a retort, uh, a sarcastic comment or, or something really quite vicious, quite hurtful uh, to that person. Proverbs uh, chapter 14 and verse 29. Whoever is patient has great understanding, but one who is quick-tempered displays folly. If you have been in that position, as indeed I have, where you've fired off that response uh, before pausing to stop and think about what you want to say and how you want to say it, uh, you will know that actually uh, very often, more often than not, I think, uh, you regret what you've said or indeed or, or, or in, in fact the tone that you with which you've said it. By being so uh, quick-tempered, the folly that Solomon talks about here uh, can be quite evident. It's hard though, isn't it, sometimes to just pause and think through. You, you're hurt by the uh, barbed comments of the other person and you want to go back with something clever and something equally hurtful to them. But actually, the wise way is to wait and to think, uh, and to just uh, reflect upon what has happened and why you suddenly feel so hurt, and then to go back, not with a, a vengeful attitude of trying to sort of get your own back, but to be able to uh, bring peace and uh, harmony into that situation. So often friendships are destroyed, relationships are broken unnecessarily, because one or both of us are too proud to do uh, the right thing and to speak gently where words of sarcasm and hurt can so much more easily come. Following God's wisdom is sometimes difficult, but actually it's best uh, because the, the harmony that we want to enjoy with other people, well, they want as well. And so sometimes we just need to work harder at that and not be quite so quick-tempered that we display folly. Whoever is patient has great understanding. Let's pray together. Father, we pray for that understanding. Pray for patience. Pray for your calmness and your attitude of reaching out to perhaps turn the other cheek where appropriate, or at least to be able to reach out with friendship and hand a greeting rather than offence. Please help us and guard our words as well as our thoughts, Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you and take good care. Bye.